Hi, welcome. We're going to make another video about uh, calamares for our series. And we have something ready already in, in a virtual box a template. So all the settings are correct. And the difference between this one on the top and that one on the bottom is settings. Oops, not what I wanted to do now. Settings. And this thing is not enabled. That's an MBR. This thing is enabled. That's an EFI. That's it. That's the difference. So I have already made a video about um, encryption. You can check it out on YouTube and then I'll add it to the article on articlelinks.com. But um, what I didn't make is one for an EFI situation. So let's clone this uh, EFI template and say, OK, we're going to install Arco Linux fine, with EFI and encrypt it. That's what this is. So we boot up with a drive, something to boot up from. And it's all the same, Article Linux B, D, and that's uh, it's all Calamaris. Double click it, Ctrl F it, and yes, indeed, you have to wait a little bit longer if you are booting up in VirtualBox with the EFI. It doesn't kick in straight away. It will kick in on the real machine, so the real metal, as they say. It will work just fine and as quickly as an MBR. But it just, I don't know, what is taking a break or a coffee or something like that. Anyway, at some point in time, you'll see the normal setup lines popping up. So the idea is to create a partition. Well, two, three, four partitions, I don't know. Let's take a simple step first. A simple step would be that you say, I'm going to encrypt. I need a partition for my boot EFI. I need to set it to FAT32 and I need to have it a boot flag. That's the only time you ever use a flag. EFI, user flag on the boot EFI partition, FAT32, and all the rest doesn't need anything. Okay, that's been set. That's the setup that I have in my mind. Let's do this. Manual partition, erase partition is done as well. Encrypt, it's been in the video uh, when we did an MBR, by the way, not an EFI. So that's another what if, right? But let's make it a difficult one at first. Well, a manual one, it all depends how, what you call difficult, right? Now, this is the first challenge. Um, there is no hard disk, there's nothing here. Use the magic button. There it is. Okay, create. What will we create? 300 megabytes for your FAT32 boot EFI boot flag is enough. And the rest can be just simple things first encrypt and just one thing the root. Let's not make it complicated yet. Let's see if this works. Okay. Next. No errors because of the boot flag. All is set the way it should be. And now you read it again. We're going to create a GPT, so not an MBR. On device SDA, 300 megabyte. Yes, FAT32, correct. It has a boot flag, super, and we have a, well, lock system, so an encrypted system. It's going to be for my root partition. It doesn't say it here. It would be nice to have also one point root. And um, that's it, All right? Okay, install. And now it's going to be critical. If, if it passes this partition here, this, this face, then one module is done and it moves to the next module and it feels like, yes, we're over it. So it's going to install the rest, filling up file systems, the, the danger, if it's called danger at all. So the partitioning is the most critical phase and everything, if everything, your, your pie, if your pizza is divided up into partitions in parts, then it's just filling it up with something, right? And that's basically what it's doing right now. I will wait for it and, and see what happens, what it looks like 
when you boot up back uh, and, and watch Gparted. All right, it's finished. All done, it says. Restart. Done. And let's take a look. So, this is not a crashing system. This is prior to Grub. Welcome to Grub. But yes, prior to Grub, he wants to know, do you know the password? I hope I remember it. It was a very difficult one. And he's going to check out, of course, is it correct or not. Did no, I did not make a typo, but it would be nice to see what happens if you do the typo. You can't get it. Now, this is the general grub. I don't touch anything. Everything just goes normally as we are used to. And it boots up. There is a device mapper you see, Lux. So it's all encrypted already. You see some messages that it points to an encrypted system. And as promised, Gparted is the way to go. Let's have a look. So the other video that I created was an MBR with the same idea, just one root, simple. Keep it kiss, right? Keep it simple and stupid, always works. So we have an encrypted X4 with the dash here, the slash, and um, that's your root. And this is going to be your boot EFI. And this MSFT data is probably what we do use as the flag, boot flag, remembering Calamari's. So there you go. We have a system that's working. It's an encrypted system. And um, if you like to use it uh, encrypted, that's up to you. Entirely your choice. Personally, I'm not into encrypting. I mean, I do not use a laptop. It's not my PCs, my desktops stay at home. And I always well just without encryption because of course it, there has to be some kind of delay. There is a, an encryption that's going on and behind the screens. Okay. So there you go, you have an encrypted system and you can have fun with Arch Linux. Nothing is really different, it's just an encrypted system and have fun.